Hello fellow citizens, welcome back and thank you for joining me today. Alright, we are back for day 3 of IAE 2952, Aegis Dynamics. Let's go see what this floor has in hold for us. Aegis is without a doubt one of my favorite manufacturers. It's got a lot of good stuff. The the Saber, Gladius, Gladius Valiant, the Titans. I mean, it's just it's all good. Uh, should be the Apex. I believe it's on the Apex Hall because I think Drake was Apex. We're going to find out. Yep, Aegis Dynamics. All right, what do we got? Oof, the big boy. The big boy. It just looks intimidating. I love it. The else play is. So we got the Saber Comet. I flew a Saber for a long time as my primary fighter. I've never flown the Comet. So I'm gonna rent. Why? Because why not? I know it's the same thing, just slightly different, but that paint job, though. The Sabres are amazing. I prefer them over the base Gladius. Don't ask why, I just do. They're a lot of fun to fly, they handle really well, and they're just overall gorgeous. The reclaimer. I gotta go do that reclaimer mission again. I didn't look at the, uh, I didn't look at the hall guide to see what's where. Alright, let's go to hall two. Why not? Hmm. Well, I guess we're gonna start over here in three. Where's my Redeemer? I never cared for the Redeemer, but I kind of miss it at the same time. Alright. Gladius. Gladius Valiant. If you don't know the difference between the two, the Gladius Valiant turns slightly slower, and I think that's it. It ha just has a slower pitch and yaw over the Gladius. Which, for me, on mouse and keyboard, feels smoother than the bass Gladius. I'm not a fan of the bass, but I love the balance. We've got ourselves the hammerhead right here. Which is just a whole lot of FU, as long as it's man. Fun ship. Nothing pilot controlled. It is 100% reliant on your crew. A lot of fun though. Good for stuff like Xeno Threat. Alright, so we got the Redeemer in Hall 2. I don't like the Redeemer's flight model, which is why I sold it, or scrapped it. Unfortunately, the Corsair has basically the same flight model which I'm not that excited for but I mean Corsair come on alright we got our Titans and we got the Deemer 
you cannot go wrong with any of the Titans. They are all fantastic in their own regard. The Redeemer, other than its flight model, its only issue is the ladder. It's the only way up. So let's see if they fixed the elevator. And if you didn't know it, the Redeemer used to have an elevator feature. That wasn't an intended feature. Alright, it looks like they may have fixed it. That's sad. Because you used to be able to just ride the ramp up to the next floor. But did I not go out far enough? I go out too far? Maybe I went out too far. Let's give it one more shot. Looks like they may have patched it out. But it was the best way to get up into the Redeemer. Yeah, they, they patched it out. That's a disappointment. Okay, well... I guess I will not be rebuying the Redeemer. If you haven't spent any time on a Titan, I highly recommend it. It was my first actual ship. And by actual ship, I mean I messed up. My first ship that I purchased my package on was the Pisces. I mean, the Pisces is fine, but it's no Titan. Titan's just a lot of firepower for what it is, and it's a lot of fun to fly. No, we will not be getting on the big boy. Because that's just a whole thing by itself. Although I've done bounties in this solo. Yeah, solo bounty hunting, BHRTs in this. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of leaving the cockpit, running down the hall, hop on the computer, running back to the cockpit, running back down the hall to hop on the computer. Sorry, the turret. I've seen people take the reclaimer out during Xenothreat too. That was fun. Alright, the Vanguard series. These are also fantastic. Uh, I mean, I can't say anything bad about them. They're just... They're fun. They're a lot of fun. They turn slow, because they're heavy. But they are efficient to say the least. I think the Harbinger is the bomber, if I remember correctly. They're good. All right, what else we got? What's in hall numero four? Ah, yes, your stealth. Both of these. Mm. Yes, please. That's all I have to say. I mean, what can you say about it? A lot of firepower via its missiles. 
It's got man turrets, no pilot controlled. Y you park 10 kilometers out, you lob a missile, you GTFO. Enough said. This one I was excited for for a long time, just because it, yeah, it, it just looks good. It's slightly weaker missiles. I think this one goes up to size five as opposed to the tens. It's got two size one pilot controlled, but no damage from it really because they're just size ones. Again, it's just get in, lob a missile, get out. It's fun to fly. It just, yeah. It's it's fun to fly. That, that's all I'm going to say. And it looks sexy. Straight up sexy. So far from what we've seen, uh, the, what I recommend the most to fly would be the Saber. Without a doubt. The Saber is just a lot of fun to fly. And it's four size threes, I believe. So it's got some decent damage. Is this the Nautilus? Looks like the Nautilus. Yep, Nautilus. Deploy your space mines. That one's going to be a fun ship to fly. And then what do we have over here? The Vulcan. Refuel and repair. I don't, I don't know how I feel about this one. <laughs> I mean, it looks nice. But... I guess their refueling gameplay is just not for me. Imagine there's a lot of people who feel the same way. Oh boy, I get to go refuel people, yay. But I mean, someone's got to do it, right? Now the repair, I can understand that. But that's it, that was a quick tour of Aegis Dynamics sales floor. Everything's worth a fly. The only one that I would say definitely take out, in my opinion, is the Saber or the Saber Comet. Um, Gladius, Gladius Valiant. If you've not tried the Valiant, take the Valiant. And if you really want to take 45 minutes to get out of atmosphere, take the Reclaim. Don't question. Just do it. But that's it for Aegis. We'll see you uh, tomorrow for all things alien, I guess. Thanks for joining me. Have a good one.